Hello everyone and welcome in to the 2022 D2 Men's Soccer Selection Show. I'm your host, Michaela Chester. Last season we saw the top seeded team in the tournament, Cal State LA, claim its first ever national title. This year's bracket features 40 schools and is split into four super regions. Ten teams were selected from each super region and teams from the same region will be paired for first and or second competition that will kick off November 10th through the 13th on campus sites. 19 of the 40 teams earned automatic bids to get into the playoffs, while the other 21 will earn at-large berths based on their regional rankings. The quarterfinals will also be held on campus sites November 17th through the 20th, and the semifinals and national title game will be played December 1st and 3rd at Interbay Soccer Stadium in Seattle. Here it is, the 2022 D2 Men's Soccer Bracket, starting with Super Region 1. We will kick off our bracket with Franklin Pierce, 20-0 and 1 this season. They claimed their second consecutive Northeast 10 championship title following a 2-0 victory over Lemoyne. The title comes as the fifth in program history for the Ravens. Both goals for the Ravens came in the second half from sophomore forward Rodilio Rodriguez, who received the Northeast 10 Championship MVP award for the second straight year. Rodriguez leads the nation in assists per game this season and total points and ranks in the top 10 in goals. Let's talk defense too because Franklin Pierce leads the entire NCAA in shutout percentage. They are looking for the program's second ever national title. This team certainly has the talent to do so. They will receive a first round bye and will, uh, will await the winner of Notre Dame, Ohio and St. Rose. Notre Dame's 15 wins is the most in a season for the program since 2013. On top of that, their 11 shutouts this season is the third best in program history. They fell to Charleston in the conference title match, but make it back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2018. Next, we have Mercy hosting. 12 and 2 and 5 this season. They are making their fifth NCAA tournament and third in four seasons. They just won their fifth ECC championship. They will face Davis and Elkins in the second round. Both teams re receive a first round bye. Davis and Elkins is led by senior forward Christian Vasquez. He just won MEC Conference Player of the Year. This team also leads all of D2 in points per game and has the number one scoring offense, I might add. So be on the lookout for this powerful offense. Charleston is another host out of Super Region 1. This is the top 10 team nationally coming off of its fifth consecutive MEC title. Davis and Elkins is Charleston's only loss on the season, but they avenge that loss later in the regular season to split the series. Charleston will await the winner of Queens and Adelphi. Queens set a program record with a 13-5 regular season record. Senior goalie Dario Giovanni Cruz broke the program record for most wins in a single season and holds the record in career wins as well. Adelphi will look to win the program's second D2 national title for men's soccer. The last one was in 1974. They were knocked out of the Northeast 10 Conference Tournament this season on PKs, but now will face Queens in the NCAA Tournament. Next, we have Mercyhurst as a host. This team is 19-0 and won this season, led by Sean Kerrigan, who ranks second in the nation in goals and goals per game. This is also the second-ranked scoring offense in D2. Kerrigan and this high-powered offense will face post in the second round, as both teams received a first-round bye. Let's take a look at Super Region 3 in the bottom left quadrant of the bracket. Starting things off with Saginaw Valley, our first host. The number four ranked Cardinals won the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference title for the first time since 2012 and now have a first round bye in the NCAA tournament. They await the winner of Lake Erie and Southern Nazarene. Congratulations to both teams on a spot in the NCAA tournament. Lake Erie's Teddy Baker is second in the nation in total assists. Tiffin is in as our next host in Super Region 3. They fell late to Cedarville in the GMAC semifinals, but earned an at-large bid in the tournament. The Dragons are making their sixth NCAA tournament appearance, first since 2019, and will take on Illinois Springfield in the second round. 
Ashland is our next host and the two seed in this super region. The Eagles just won the great Midwest tournament title for the first time and its third conference tournament championship in the last five years. They will await the winner of a first round matchup between U Indy and Wisconsin Parkside, the 10th team in from this super region. Lastly, Maryville will host Lewis in the second round in the last matchup of Super Region 3. Maryville's Jimmy Doherty had the game-winning goal at the 106-24 mark of double overtime to lift the Saints to a 2022 Great Lakes Valley Conference title by a 1-0 score over Lewis. The title is the third GLVC Tournament Championship for the Saints. So what do we have? A rematch right away. Lewis fell in a heartbreaking double OT loss and now we'll have a chance to knock Maryville out of the tournament right out of the gates. Some serious drama to start the tournament. Let's see who comes out on top this time around. That does it for the first half of the bracket. I have 20 more teams to announce after this. There's an energy swelling out beyond the limits of your expectations. A universe where fandom reigns supreme. Once you're in it, it changes you. Instead of one of one, you're one of many. A blissful sea of chaos. Go beyond your limits and enter the NCAA universe. Get your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Welcome back to the 2022 D2 Men's Soccer Selection Show. We are now moving on to the top right portion of the bracket with Super Region 2. Let's cut to the chase. Florida Tech is in as our first host in this region. That's after they pulled out a dominating win over one seed Barry for the conference title. It was quite the one-two matchup, but Florida Tech brought the Sunshine State Conference Tournament trophy back to Melbourne for the first time in program history. And now they have a first round bye in the tournament. Jack Edwards won most outstanding player. They will patiently await the winner of Tampa and Lander. Facing off in the first round, the ninth and 10th team in the Super Region, respectively. Lander is making their 14th NCAA tournament appearance in program history after defeating Flagler 1-0 in the PVC tournament title game on Sunday. Three players also made the PVC all-tournament team for the Bearcats. West Florida is in after dropping the Gulf South Conference Championship game in PKs to Christian Brothers. They will face off against Rollins in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Georgios Kolonitis was named Sunshine State Conference Offensive Player of the Year this season and has led Rollins to its first 10 win season since 2018. Lenore Ryan is our next host and two seed in Super Region 2. They captured the first SAC tournament title since 2006 with a win over Lincoln Memorial and earned back-to-back -back trips to the NCAA tournament. This will mark the first tournament appearance in program history with four of them under head coach Jack Winter. The Bears are led by SAC tournament MVP Carlos Mantolio Lobo and will be searching for their first NCAA tournament win since 2016. They'll face the winner of Wingate and Converse, who will face in a first round matchup. Converse was crowned the 2022 Conference Carolinas Men's Soccer Champions after defeating Francis Marion 1-0 to capture the program's first ever championship title. David Windmiller had five saves on the night for Converse, ending his tournament stint with two shutouts and as tournament MVP. Finally, our last matchup in this super region, Barry will host Christian Brothers. Barry is looking to win its second ever national title in program history with the last one in 2018. They just fell to Florida Tech in the conference championship, but will host and receive a first round bye. Christian Brothers won its first Gulf South Conference Championship since 2012. This team has players from 17 different countries and 15 of them have scored a goal this season. Goalkeeper Max Klink was named most outstanding player at the GSC tournament. Lastly, let's move on to Super Region 4 in the bottom right portion of the bracket. Ten more teams are waiting to hear their name announced. 
First up, we have the reigning national champions, Cal State LA, hosting as the one seed. They just won their second straight CCAA tournament championship, the fourth in five years, and they are the two-time defending Super Region 4 champions. This is their 16th NCAA appearance and 10th in the past 11. Daniel Garcia was named CCAA Midfielder of the Year for Cal State LA. The reigning champs will await the winner of Northwest Nazarene and West Texas A&M. Cal State Dominguez Hills is in as a host and the four seed in this super region. They just fell to Cal State LA in the CCAA championship matchup in a crosstown rivalry. Both teams have only one loss on the season and both are to each other. They'll have a chance to rematch if they both were to advance to the third round. Cal State Dominguez Hill will need to face Colorado School of Mines first in the second round. They just clinched the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference tournament title by way of a 9-8 shootout victory of CSU Pueblo. St. Mary's is in in our next host in Super Region 4. This team is tied in the Lone, Lone Star Conference for shutouts with 12 on the season and shattered the program record for consecutive shutouts with eight in a row. Midwestern State and Biola will go head to head in the first round. The winner will advance to take on St. Mary's in the second. Last but not least, two more teams remain. The wait is over for CSU Pueblo. The Thunderwolves are in and as the three seed in this super region. They're coming off of a heartbreaking overtime loss to the Colorado School of Mines. The Thunderwolves will host Cal Poly Pomona in the second round. That does it, everyone. There is your 40-team NCAA D2 men's soccer bracket. Game action will kick off later this week, starting with the first round on November 10th or 11th. There will be four Super Region champions that will head to Inner Bay Stadium in Seattle. The advancing teams will be reseeded prior to the national semifinals on December 1st, and then we will have the national championship long awaited on December 3rd. This will be your home for all of the results, and you can also watch the championship action from Seattle on NCAA.com. Thank you for joining us today. I am your host, Michaela Chester, and congratulations and best of luck to all the student athletes competing in this year's championship. There's an energy swelling out beyond the limits of your expectations. A universe where fandom reigns supreme. Once you're in it, it changes you. Instead of one of one, you're one of many. A blissful sea of chaos. Go beyond your limits and enter the NCAA universe. Get your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets.